Hello everyone, Monster Dino Reviews. Today we have the Legacy Collection T-Rex. So, really nice box art, and I just want to say it's really cool to actually own a replica of the Explorer. So I just love the blues and all the dark background effects. It's obviously from the T-Rex breakout scene. And it's nice to own a smaller size T-Rex with the colours like this, the more realistic colours. So let's take a little zoom out here. And the box art is actually quite reminiscent of this pack. It's the Transformers Jurassic Park collaboration. And I just reviewed that not so long ago. So yeah, you can see it's the same scene, both uh, with T-Rex crushing the car. Um, I'm going to have to actually transform these, which is the, the thing I said I didn't want to do because they're already transformed and it's just a painstaking process. So we'll get to do that in a minute and then I can compare them to this guy. So as you can see, the Legacy Collection has this really nice charcoal grey on whites and greys with the blue offset on the background. Okay, so one final look at the box art before we open him up. So there's a little spin. And on the back we have the T-Rex crushing the top window of the car, just like in the first film. Tyrannosaurus Rex set. Uh, I think that's about it really, not too much, just says what's in the box. And then on the side you have the Legacy Collection logo. So yeah, let's open it up guys and find out what it looks like when it's fully opened. A bit of tape here, take that off. And I think there's just a little bit at the bottom and that's it. There we go. So we got four pins as opposed to the normal two on the bottom here. Take this one off. This one seems a bit stuck. There we go. And then these are just the clip kind. That should just pop out. There we go, it's the right way on these ones. And it looks like I've just got a piece here to take off and one here. Okay, that should be free, and he is. There we go. Now he's got a very reminiscent paint scheme of the Extreme Chomping T-Rex, and his mouth does open in a similar sort of way, his or her. Let's take the tail out now. And there we go, it's the usual peg type. Plug that in. So yeah, actually it's just like a slightly smaller scale version of the Extreme Chomping. I'll just put him there for a second. We'll get that one down for comparison. T-Rex and T-Rex's bigger brother or sister. As you can see, guys, I'll just take the camera up. There's your size comparison between the two T-Rexes. In terms of color schemes, they're actually really similar, but you can see this one has a slightly more brown look on the top. It's got more of a tan. Whereas this one, it's more focused. It's very dark along the top, but it's a stripe. Whereas this one sort of fades into the body. So two very similar T-Rex toys. And even the mouth is a similar joint. This one just feels more premium, I would say. But it's nice to have this in a smaller scale. So there we go. And finally, guys, here is the Extreme Damage T-Rex for scale and comparison. And you can see that these two are actually on the same sculpt. I believe it's the exact same sculpt. Yeah, there's no difference here. It's just a repaint. In fact, yeah, this one's jaw opens a lot easier. I wonder if it has any, oh yeah, there we go. It looks like we have a chomping function here. Nice, that springs open really good. So that's the major difference there. Whoa, we lost him. And this one obviously has its extreme damage function. The jaws snap together slightly nicer in the legacy one's place. And you can see it actually scales up a lot better, funny enough. So 
If you wanted a better diorama, that's probably what you'd want to do. But in a way, let's replace it. Okay, there we go. So yeah, nice overall shape and everything. The sculpt's great. It's a very nice sculpt. So now we move on to the car here for a second. Let's look at the Explorer. And yeah, this is just awesome. This is actually probably the better part of the set for me. So this is an almost screen accurate rendition of the Explorer. The only thing I noticed guys is it's missing its roof rack and I'll flash a picture of the actual Explorer on the screen now for you so you can see. So unlike the Transformers set, which uh, omitted some things like the bumper and stuff, this one is almost screen accurate. Like I said, just missing the top bit and the doors open. So we've got full range of each door opening. As you can see, there's a bit of a click to that one. And yeah, all the details inside the car are pretty nice. Now I presume that Timmy here is gonna be able to sit inside that car without any problems. One thing I did notice guys is the top screen actually bends inwards and I'm not sure if it's a defect or it's just supposed to represent when the T-Rex comes through and then uh yeah it just you know smashes through the screen but let's give that a little go now just to see yeah I think it's probably supposed to do that right on the other side here again both doors open up I don't know what that is that's a bit of molding or something yeah it's coming off so yeah there we go the doors open up and that one as well and yeah just really nice awesome display piece now one thing i will say guys uh, a couple of things on the screen here are a bit scuffed and that's been in its packaging so i don't know how that's happened you can see there's a bit of a scuff mark here it doesn't look like it will wipe off it looks like it's actual scuff damage to the plastic so it's a shame that we didn't have any like protective covering on those now in terms of size the explorer looks to be maybe just slightly oversized especially when compared to the t-rex but you can fix that by using the other t-rex the epic roaring i mistakenly said it was a different brand t-rex so i've successfully removed the little timmy figure from the blister pack there and let's get some detail on the face there we go we've got the zoom and you can see it's a pretty screen accurate representation of him even the face looks very similar so next to the T-Rex. He looks like he could comfortably fit in its mouth, to be honest with you. Just one bite. Um, now, that's something I want to point out, guys, as well. See, the T-Rex skull was around five to five and a half feet long, which means that even a full adult man, which would be this sort of size, would fit, you know, pretty much almost in its mouth. So its head should be around this sort of size. That's just a minor thing to point out. But as you can see, we've got some really nice colouring here um, with some fading on the jaws. A fairly realistic screen look to it. It's obviously on the more tan brown colour scheme. And yeah, we just need to put his little helmet on. There's his night vision glasses. And I'll just try and sit him in the car now. Don't want to put him on the driver's side i'll probably move that in a second <laughs> but there we go so yeah he fits in there pretty nicely and the t-rex can come down the top and attack him and now there it is replaced with the epic roaring t-rex which uh, i would say is the better scale Legacy Collection T-Rex does have some nice fading on its jawline, as you can see. This one doesn't have that as much. So here's the Jurassic Park Transformers collab Explorer on a much more miniature scale. And you can see it's pretty good. It's not it's not a bad representation at all. It's nice to have it in a smaller scale, but it's a bit more squared off. And yeah, like the one above, it does lack the roof rack, but it also lacks details like the bumper down here. 
I don't know what these are called, but there's a step to get into it and a few other details. But yeah, it's it's pretty nice overall, as you can see. So I said I wasn't going to transform this. <laughs> uh, I've gone and done it just because it would be better for the video to show the two. So I'm not going to bother transforming the T-Rex from this line just because he's really hard to unpin. The legs sort of clip together at the bottom here. So yeah, guys, if you want to check out the review of this set, then please do go a few videos back. It's the Tranicon review set. And I do compare it with the other T-Rexes as well. So I'll just leave that as it is. The last thing I want to do, guys, is see the Hammond Collection T-Rex against it. So here he is, or she rather, because the bigger T-Rexes were female. Actually, that's not true because Scotty is currently the largest T-Rex and it's a male. So, yeah, that challenges what we know. Um, but yeah, here it is next to the Explorer. And the Legacy T-Rex. I'll just move this one. I'll chuck him in its place. There we go. Now, that actually looks closer to the being screen accurate. I just want to point out, guys, there is another Hammond Collection set called the Breakout set that is actually of that scene. And it's a lot more darker and, and wet look. I don't, unfortunately, have that T-Rex. So it's something on my list to get because I just love this scene. It's very iconic. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just use this one as a stand-in for now. So here's all three T-Rexes next to each other. All really good renditions of the T-Rex, guys. You can't go wrong with any of these. And let's get them on the spinner. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed, and thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.